Well, this day can officially go fuck itself. Today was not a good day. We didn't realize that yet. You're being told now. Anywho, people. Oh, I'm so fucking tired. Today was a brutal day. Busy as fuck. Can't really talk much about the job, but I can explain what's going on by giving a de like another definition, but like a... How the fuck can I word this? Like an example. Okay, so let's say you get a job as a welder. You're working at a company, you're welding, okay? So you're welding away, you're welding away, you're hired to weld, I don't know, let's say you got hired to weld a pipeline. So you're a pipeline welder, you're welding all these segments together, but you're really fucking good at your job. You're so good at your job that you're welding four pieces of pipe together faster than anybody can do one. Okay, let's go with that logic. So, you're giving her, you're giving her, you're giving her, you're fucking kicking ass, and all of a sudden you're done. Holy shit. You got the whole pipeline all welded together, and everybody else is still behind. Well, then your boss says, well, we don't know what to do with you now. You're done your work, and we don't really have anything else for you. So, we could either A, let you go, or B, put you on another division, which pays the same but the work is more like well literally you're lifting pipes and you're stacking them on a shelf or something like that like you're fucking doing bullshit manual labor instead of actually putting your trade to work well that basically describes my job in a nutshell so that's why lately I've been a little bit more stressed out because that's what happened to me because I was so good at my job I didn't get demoted because usually demotion comes with a, uh, a a drop in your pay. But I'm not exactly doing what I went there to do. So let's just say Skivens needs a new job. And that's where I'm sitting now. And like basically what I was doing before was awesome. You know, I go into work and give her. Now I don't even want to go into work. <laughs> so... I can't really divulge much more information than that, but now you know what the fuck's really going on with this guy, and uh, I'm going to be honest, it fucking blows. I wonder what I'm doing right now. I'm cleaning all the burnt out, caked on grease out of the air fryer. You know what, this thing has to be the hardest fucking thing to clean, mainly because of that thing in the bottom of it. You can, it's really hard to get a brush in there and clean it out, so... I need two hands for this. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, for dinner tonight I'm just doing tornadoes and rice because fuck, I don't feel like doing anything. <clears throat> and tomorrow night we're going to do steaks probably again or maybe some sausages, I don't know. So uh, this morning I wake up, I come downstairs, I'm going to let this thing out. And uh, he's favoring his uh, back leg over here. This one right over yonder. Really favoring, like limping around the house and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? I had no idea what the hell happened to him. Guess him and her were roughhousing last night pretty brutally, and uh, he probably did something stupid, like jumped off the couch or fucking jumped over the couch and hit the ground and hurt his leg. You know, he'll try and keep up with her. She's fucking nuts. She'll just sit there and launch herself all around the house. But uh, him, he's getting old. Now keep in mind, he was born in 2009, and uh, well, January 2009, January 15th, I think it is, 2009. This is when he was farted out of his mom's uh, bidet. -le. So, uh, little tatouin. Fucking farted out. Little puppy dog. He was tiny then. He was so cute. Still is cute. He was cuter then. So, uh, and she, her, like, she's fucking only like two, three years old. So, yeah, he's like seven years old now. Like, I'm getting up there in age. You can't be doing a puppy dog bouncing around like an idiot thing anymore. Don't fucking stop him. That's why he's kind of not really being all jumpy at the camera right now. I think his leg is still a little sore. So, and I checked it. There's no holes in it or anything. I think he just fucking hurt himself being stupid. Because that's what he does. So, I couldn't do much with him today. So, I said, fuck it. I was going to go to work. And uh, he was still hobbling tonight. Then I was going to take the day off tomorrow and bring him to the vet. Get him checked out. But, uh, he seems alright now. So, Fuck, we'll just go with it. 
Like I said, he was fucking around with scampers. Doing stupid shit. As always. Because that's what he does. Stupid shit. Any hoozle. One thing I want to do is I want to grab my rice cooker insert. Bring that downstairs. Fill it with water. Because Skivens needs to make some more juice. So, that's what we're going to do tonight. And also, i got to make room for new food. In case, you mean what, in case you wonder what I mean by that, i got to poop. Yay! Juice is cooking! Alrighty, well judging by the mouth-watering smell down here, I'm going to assume dinner's ready. And I assumed correctly! You want to know why? Because the red light is on on the warm-off button. Yay! Alright, let's plate some food and go and eat. So I think tomorrow night after work, I was going to do it tonight, but I got off work way too late because, like I said, shit was busy and I was backed up. So, uh, tomorrow night I get off work a little earlier. I only work till 7.45, not 8. So hopefully I get out at 7.45 and I can come right home. Because what I was thinking was coming home and then, uh, doing some work on the tractor. Seeing about getting that belt attached right away. Or at least trying to put the belt on tomorrow night. And hopefully... It fits, and then if it doesn't fit, I got the model number, that picture of the sticker, fucking work mint. So at least if I know the belt doesn't fit tomorrow night, I can uh, go over to Hamlin's on Friday and get the proper belt for it. And it won't be that stress for time. So that's a bonus, right? So we can do that tomorrow night. I'm just too fucking cooked tonight. I just want to get this vlog done with tonight, and then go to bed, wake up tomorrow, get my shift done, and then Friday I'm off, so Friday I can do whatever. And I think Friday might be the day that I fucking deal with this nonsense. I gotta go to the garage later on tonight. I got a garbage bag started out there that I want to finish filling. I got a lot of shit to throw out in here. Uh, a bunch of garbage upstairs and garbage down here and garbage in the bathroom. Garbage everywhere. Gonna go through some of the garbage over here and get this shit all cleaned up. Throw away anything I don't need. Bring stuff out to the garage that belongs out in the garage. So on and so forth. Get all this sorted. And then, uh, yeah. Be Friday if we already got the tractor going because they're calling for thunder bangers on Friday. Which is awesome. It's my only fucking day off until Tuesday next week, which is when I got to film vlog 2000. But um, what I was thinking was Friday, if it's really bad, I might uh, start making some of the clips that I want to do for vlog 2000. So that's what I want to do. I got a couple funny ideas that I kind of want to implement for vlog 2000. And I think it could be pretty awesome. So I'm just going to grab myself a couple beverages here. Let's head back upstairs and it's fucking time to eat. Have you ever watched a show on Netflix? and went, wow, the budget for this must have been two Happy Meal coupons and a box of the Good Good Whole Wheat Shreddies. Well, I kind of get that feeling while watching this TV show. Started watching this one here last night called Shadow Hunters. I'm on episode five. And honestly, this feels like the lowest budget production TV show I ever did lay my eyes on. But this chick's kind of hot, so I keep watching it. What can I say? I'm a sucker for hot chicks. It's the way she goes. Alrighty, well, I got some garbage to bring out to the garage to chuck into that bag. <sighs> Got this bag here. I thought I had more than just the one bag. Oh, no, that's your beer cans. Okay, we're good. And I got a bag downstairs to bring out and chuck down in the garage. And then tomorrow before I go to work, I'll put everything at the side of the road and we'll be good to go. And life will be glorious. So, yeah. I just got to grab the, the kitchen garbage. And I think the bathroom garbage is emptied because I haven't really used it much. And the garbage in here was emptied last time. And I haven't used it much, but right now, I gotta have a piss. Alrighty, so I think this is what we're gonna do. Not tomorrow, but the day after we're gonna work in here. It's really fucking bright with these lights, so... A lot of bugs in here, though. But, uh... That'll be fine during the day. Uh, tomorrow night, like I said, when I get home from work, I'm gonna come out here, and we're going to, uh... Move shit around. Get shit out of the way. Kinda like what I'm doing now. And, uh, fucking moths, eh? Fucking menaces. But, uh, wouldn't be so bad at flapping in your face all sporadically and stupidly. That one's really dumb. It just hit the wall and fell. But, uh, we're gonna come get this belt done. Rex already told me he's like, dry pulley on the top, deck pulley on the bottom. Not a big deal. And I'm gonna slam the tires despite people saying that it's not a good idea. You should get some tubes for it or whatever. People saying, go to TSC, go to TSC. The closest TSC is four hours away, people. Fuck. I'm not about to drive that far. Crappy tires are around the corner and they, tell, they sell tire slime. It's just a lawn tractor, not a racer. It doesn't need tubes. Slime will be fine. But, uh, gonna slam the tire 
I'm gonna grab my air compressor from the car. I think this thing has a cigarette lighter on it somewhere. Yeah, it does right there. So I can plug it into that and fill up the tires in the tractor. Because my foot pump broke. It's not over there anymore, it don't work. It broke, so fuck it. And that little belt and that other belt over there, those are belts that were for the white tractor, but I don't have that one, Rex has it now, so they're just spare belts for nothing. So hopefully this belt here solves the problem and we can, uh, it should, like the pulley, it's not that far away, the pulley for the engine is, I believe it's right here, somewhere, I can't see the screen, anyway, it shouldn't be that hard to do this, right, it should be just feed it around the deck, wrap it around the pulley, and hopefully the engage and disengage, do what it's supposed to do, and then I don't think this thing has any power. Oh no, she's deader than a doornail. But uh, this thing here, I think, has some juice in her. Uh, where's the button? Fucking button. Yeah, she's reporting a full charge, so should be able to get a couple boosts out of this, as long as I know where my jumper cables are. Oh boy. Houston, we have a problem. Um, where the fuck did I put those? I have no idea where my jumpers are for that thing. But, uh... I'll be able to find that. I think they're still in the house. They're probably in the cupboard in the entranceway. And yeah, I'd love to uh, do this. Look at what the sun did to my fucking airline. She's all sun bleached, eh? Nice. But uh, yeah, so the battle plan is, is to, uh, I'd love to get the piece for this thing so that I could use this to fill up the tires on the tractor, but... I don't know where the fuck it went. So, that's not an option. Oh, not a big deal. Who fucking cares? We'll just use the tire pump from the car. And... But I want to do a big cleanup in here and get a lot of this shit organized. Like, here's the seat of the gas tank for the, uh... I could probably put those on the wall back there, the gas tanks for the mini bikes. And, uh, you know, this garbage down. Oh, gross. Here cleaned up and... Gas tanks off the floor and get these bulbs out of here. I gotta extract um, off of these metal ballasts. I gotta take the ballasts off of these light fixtures, these old ones that were up here and here. Take those off because they gotta go to the hazardous waste depot. But as for the actual tree themselves, they're gonna go to the metal scrap yard. Same with these ones back here. Actually, these ones still work, so I don't know. I'll fucking scrap them anyway. I don't care. Oh, it farted. Oh, fuck. I uh, still got to do something with this garbage. I got some tube lights that I got to throw out. I think those got to go to the hazardous waste depot too. So that's lovely jubbly. More beer cans to send back. Fuck. I got to put uh, this out next week. This goes out for recycling. That engine. I want to do some cleanup in the closet. Fucking, fucking bugs. Do some cleanup back there. Chuck those in there. This engine. This engine, those two engines, get them in the cupboard on a shelf somewhere out of the way. Like, where's my fucking Windex? Here, we'll use the, uh, this stuff set for spray or squirt? Squirt. Set this to fucking spray. <laughs> fucking nail a moth with a little, a little glade lasting mist. No, I probably shouldn't spray that because I'll get it on the motorbike and I'll fucking rip the paint clean off of her. But anyway, people, yeah. Tomorrow night we'll try and test fit the belt. And hopefully Friday it's not too bad weather that we can actually go romping on the tractor and do a little mower vlog, eh? That'd be fun. And I got some shit I want to do for vlog 2000. I'm not expecting I'm making like a fucking three hour long vlog 2000. But I want to put some special shit into it and make it a little funnier than normal. That'll come out on Wednesday, so. Right on, right on. Anyway, my garbage is ready. This can here is, yeah, she's fucking ready to go. Oh, and great news, everybody. Talking with a girl at work, and uh, she was talking, she showed, showed me pictures of her new fire pit. And she literally lives down the corner, or down the road and around the corner from me, in city limits. They passed a law in North Bay for burning that people, and it all depends on the size of your lot. Like my lot being uh, 120 deep by 148 wide, I can have a fire pit in the backyard. 
which pisses me off because I went and buried that fucking hole the stump was in. Do you realize how good that hole would have been for a fire pit? Go get an old, fucking find an old condemned uh, washer somewhere, rip the tumbler out of it, make that the actual fire pit, and then, uh, I know a lot of people say use a truck rim or some shit like that, but those, um, those things work pretty good from the washing machine because they got all the air holes in the side, right? So they breathe really well. So I was thinking, like, that would be pretty fucking sweet. Get one of those and put it in the hole and then, you know, put some concrete around it or whatever, some cement to uh, all around it to solidify it in there. Oh, that's one ugly bug. Let's see if this ugly bug likes the taste of grass be gone. Wow, that moth really doesn't like it. Neither does that moth. Well, it's going to ruin any plant life from growing there. Anyway, I better get back inside, but I do have the option for a fire pit in the backyard. A fire permit apparently is like 25 bucks a year. And uh, the rules are is uh, only you're only allowed to burn wood that is burnable. Like, you're supposed to buy campfire wood and shit. But, uh, you know, everybody uses newspaper and cardboard to start their fires. Uh, it's got to be a covered fire, so you can't have it just like open flame, blasting fucking schmutt and shit into the air. It's got to be a covered fire to keep all the ash and all that from blasting all over the place and shooting sparks everywhere and burning down the neighborhood. But uh, you're totally allowed to have a fire in your backyard, so that's fucking exciting as shit. So might look into that in the near future because uh, come the fall, you know, <laughs> it would make cleanup a little bit easier in the fall. Just saying. I'm gonna head her inside because it's getting late and I kind of want to go to bed. Surprised I haven't seen my battle toad buddy around. I mean, you guys remember that frog last year that was always out in my yard? I haven't seen him at all this year. Fucking probably played frog and didn't win. Anywho, I gotta put a bag into my garbage can here and then I'm gonna call her quits. So, actually, I'm gonna call her quits now. So, anyway, people, I'm gonna shut her down. So, thanks for watching. Like I said, tomorrow night we're gonna try and put the belt on. So stay tuned for that, and uh, we're going to go from there. So thanks for watching, like, favorite, and comment, as always. I know today's vlog was rather uneventful, but uh, so is my life, and it's the way she goes. But thanks for watching, like, favorite, and comment, and until next time, people, keep on vlogging.